This is Malcolm X number 13. It's one of the, st one of the stels that makes a series of 20 uh, that is done directly in wax and then uh, cast in bronze. And there's, a, there's only one. There's, it's a unique cast. Uh, uh, the, wax is, the wax disappears and you're, you're left with uh, the bronze. This, the black bronze is made from the bronze color, which is then uh, treated with acid and fire uh, to achieve the black. And the skirt is wool, different qualities of wool, different, uh, different textures of wool. And uh, the, this white signature or calligraphy, if you like, uh, is in silk, is in white silk. And what I'm doing here is simply adjusting, uh, adjusting the skirt once it's been attached to the bronze. Well, the series, the series began in the 70s. Uh, the first stels were made in 1969. And at a certain point, uh, I dedicated them to the memory of uh, Malcolm X, who had, been who had been assassinated at the end of uh, the 60s. Uh, this posed a lot of controversy and problems with the naming of this series, but I think that, that the problem has been solved by now. Malcolm himself has become a world figure and an historical figure. And these stills are really um, part, of, uh, part of a kind of world uh, tradition of naming um, stills after historical, historical personages. The power of these uh, objects comes from this kind of juxtaposition of the two materials and how they react one to the other. And also simply the pure beauty of, of the object. One makes art in order to create beauty. There is no other reason. Any other reason is really self-indulgent as far as I'm concerned. So that uh, the first object uh, of these sculptures is simply raw beauty and raw power. And the rest, the title, uh, the technique, the kind of intellectualism that goes, that goes in and around a, an art object are secondary to the fact that um, it exists in space and in time. And it will exist beyond your own existence, I hope. <laughs>